So welcome back to this first video of the class and we are going to analyze the relative version of PPP theory. Why is it relative and why the other one was absolute? Because on the absolute you focus only on one good and in this one you focus on the whole economy. So which is the macroeconomic variable that summarizes the changes of prices in the whole economy? Well, inflation, that's, that's the, the ma macro variable that we are going to use. So this is a formula that we will be using. I, I, I suggest you to take notes about this formula where you still have the presentation. So it's okay, but keep it in mind because we're going to use this formula. So this formula says that if you want to calculate the spot rate, the exchange rate of two currencies in the future, you have to do this formula. Multiply the differences of what is this, what is pi? According to this formula, pi is the inflation, the, the, the inflation, the, um, I think yearly inflation in the home country and in the foreign country. Again, a quick parenthesis, what is home, what is foreign? Home, in this case, for this formula, it's always the currency that it's on top. So if you have 20 pesos per dollar, that means Mexico is home. So, uh, and I think it works in, uh, also in the previous one. What you had on top was home. So if you had 20 pesos per dollar, this should be the Mexican inflation. And at the bottom, you, whatever you have at the bottom, US or Euros or whatever, that will be the inflation of that country. So you calculate the differences and you multiply that times the spot of today. This is a spot zero. Zero means today, right? Zero days today and t means t days so maybe spot at 90 90 days right and spot zero it's always zero it is today spot 90 is the spot of 90 days from now and in this formula you have to be a little bit careful uh, because students make uh, make mistakes when they try to use this formula in the exercise first thing that you have to and i think it's related to math so first thing that you need to understand is that the first thing that you have to do in here is to solve the parentheses, right? So first you add this one plus the inflation rate. So if the inflation rate is 10%, you will have to do one plus 0.1, so 1.1, right? So don't make the mistake of um, do, mm, doing this exponent before, right? Be careful with, with the T. T, ah, sorry, I forgot to say that, but T means time. Right? So, and something also very important, time in this formula, it's in years, right? So if you want to calculate the time, the, time, the spot rate in, in six months, T will be 0 0.5, right? Because times mean years. So if you want to calculate six months, it's 0.5. If you want to calculate one year, it's one. If you want to calculate a year and a half, 1.5. It's quite simple, but be very careful. So this is the formula that we are going to follow. Uh, and I, I was telling you, uh, be careful with how you solve this mathematically. First, solve the parentheses. Second thing, solve the exponent. Num and second thing, do the division. And last thing, to multiply whatever you get times the spot at time zero. So it's four steps. First, the parentheses, then the exponent, then the division, and finally you multiply. Be very careful on that. And I think actually in the end, it doesn't matter if you multiply first and you divide because uh, yeah, I don't, don't <laughs> just follow the orders. Or another thing you can do is just write it on Excel or in your calculator. But be very careful because that's the main source of mistakes. Uh, I'm being honest with you. I think like everyone knows how, assume that they know how to do this, but in the end they fail sometimes. So be careful. And maybe some, maybe that you know how it works, but maybe uh, it get it in during the exam or wherever you get nervous. So be very careful. Uh, sorry, I think I can go back in here because I think we have an exercise on the presentation. Yeah, here it is. So it says this, we are going to do an exercise. It says that Mexico and the US are running this inflation rates, 4% and 3%. Um, so, and respectively, that means the Mexico has a 4% inflation rate and the US 3%. And it says that the spot rate at time zero is 16.96 pesos per dollar. So according to the relative version of PPP, what will be the spot in three years, okay? 
So let's move to Excel and do this exercise. So I think I can keep it in here. Now I will write relative PPP. Don't, don't, this is relative, not real, because I think in one exam someone wrote real PPP that doesn't exist. So it's relative PPP or one is absolute. And I think I can copy the formula from the presentation. Give me one second so we can have it in here and it will be easier for us to understand what is this. So this is the spot, this is the formula, okay. So I will write the data from the presentation. If you have the presentation with you, you can double check it with me. But the Mexican inflation rate in inflation in Mexico, like it, it is, I think 4%, right? 4%, mm -hmm. that's the inflation in Mexico. The inflation in the US, it's 3%. And the other thing that I have is the spot at time zero, that will be, 16.96 and this is pesos per dollar and finally time time in this case it's three years so remember in this formula t is in years in the next formula t will be in days a week i am uh, focusing a lot on that that time is years but i am telling you because i know what's ahead of this so just remember so let's do this thing <laughs> also i'm an accountant i'm not a uh, I, I, I'm not from physics or math, so I, I run everything a bit slow. So I'll, I, I think I, I like to do it step by step. So the first thing that I would like to do is maybe the first parenthesis. I know you can do it uh, in one step. It's okay, I don't mind. Just be very careful. So the first step will be one plus this inflation rate of Mexico. And why Mexico is on top? Why Mexico is home? Because in the exchange rate, Mexico is on top. So. I just have to keep the logic, right? I hope that's clear because that's another source of mistakes sometimes. So in the end, but I, let me write it in this, and yeah, like 1.04, that is one plus the inflation of Mexico. Then one plus the inflation of the US. So I am done with the first step that I told you. Second thing, let's do the exponent. So how do I write that? So the next step is to um, do the exponent. At, uh, it's three, so it's like a cube. So you do exactly like that, okay? And then you do the same for the one at the bottom. So we are done with this part, this part, and then the exponent and the exponent. Next step, I think, or I, I, I like it like that. I think you can do that, you can multiply before, but I decide to do the division, okay? So I divide this over this and it's 1.02. And the very last step, this is the end. All of this, which is this, times the spot, right? So the spot is 16.96. So this is the answer. This is the spot at time three years. So again, I don't think this is difficult mathematically. I promised you at the beginning of the of the semester that this course is not complicated uh, mathematically. I don't think it's complicated in any sense. I think it's a, a very interesting uh, course. I really like this course. It's very interesting. There are so many things that we can learn from this. And in the end, it's not that technical or that difficult. It's just about understanding uh, concepts. So that's why I like to tell a lot of stories. Uh, so I, I hope that you find it clear until here, because this will be the answer to this exercise. That will be what I want to ask. And again, um, uh, remember uh, from both, either uh, PP, um, absolute PPP or relative PPP. Um, I, I just want to tell you something super quick before I jump to, to the conclusion, because I wanted to tell you this from the beginning. The law of one price is the name of the of the theory in general. This theory says that the changes in the price of goods is going to affect the, the exchange rate. That is this theory, law of one price. And from the law of one price, we have the absolute PPP and the relative PPP. So it is like, mm, let me write the, what it is. I'm going to write a, an arrow, I think. So it's like this, right? 
don't get confused. La law of one price, it says that the changes of prices of goods affect the exchange rate. So it is the story that I told you at the very beginning. And then it has like two applications or like two ways to prove this. First, absolute PPP and second, relative PPP. Relative PPP seems to be a little bit better because at least you, um, you, you use the whole economy, the, the inflation, and absolute PPP, it's only with one good. So the conclusion is that uh, although, the, although inflation um, is something relevant on the changes on the exchange rate, be careful because it's not the only thing. And we are going to learn a better theory about this. So be careful when you conclude anything. But yeah, as I said earlier, uh, it works well when you um, do this on the long term, like maybe 10 or 20 years, and also with countries that have uh, high inflations or that they behave kind of weird, like they're like different, like I told you Venezuela and Chile, that's a good example. So with, with that, we are done with the, this topic about the love one price. The next uh, class is also very interesting because we're going to keep on building our knowledge about uh, how exchange rates behave. I think that's something that a lot of people, especially in finance, are interested about. And the next uh, theory is a theory that won a Nobel Prize, so it's, it's <laughs> quite famous. Maybe you already know about this. So um, I think with this, I'm done with the conceptual part. In the next video, I will do a video explaining the activity and the homework. And then uh, I think I'm done for today.